Experts say the Christchurch property market won't sort itself out and it's in crisis. Many tenants are having to live in their quake-damaged homes while tradesmen work around them. Others are simply unable to afford or find rental homes. Earthquake Recovery Minister Jerry Brownlee says the solution is best left to the market. The government may appear to have ruled out intervention, but that's OK. All they need to do is relax the rules and step aside, according to a property developer. Well, the government doesn't have to do anything other than allow builders to get on and subdividers to get on to provide this affordable housing. Something he says should have happened in September 2010. We knew that there was a desperate need for housing and if they'd done that then we would probably have 5,000 new houses out in the fringes of Christchurch by now. So the government has been extremely dilatory in dealing with this whole issue. The mere fact that we've stepped in and bought 7,000 houses on very damaged land indicates that we have been quite active in the property market. So I think some of the claims that are being made are, are interesting, uh, but I think also you've got to be very careful before the general taxpayer starts becoming a major property developer and housing company. Mr Pavlitich says it's a tragedy to have gotten this far, but belatedly is better than never. People are living in poor housing and experiencing a rental shortage. Oh, it is a very, very serious issue, and people are suffering unnecessarily in Christchurch just because the government can't take the lead on these issues. However, Minister Brownlee says the government is careful about how it influences the housing market. If it had jumped in earlier, it could have artificially lowered the appetite of private investors to provide a solution that could be lucrative for investors. Mr Brownlee's comments are facile. The reality is that Mr Brownlee is not allowing, because of the political and planning impediments, for affordable housing to be built. That's uh, an interesting view. It's one that Mr Pavlitich held long before the uh, earthquake events. Um, and so you know, I think we're seeing a continuation of a, of a concern that he's had for some time about the resource management process. Mr Pavlitich says we should be getting sections on the fringes of Christchurch for roughly $50,000 each. That's if the land was affordable and infrastructure was financed properly. He says house and land packages should be available for just more than $200,000. Brownlee says a temporary accommodation village similar to those at Linwood Park and Kaiapoi Domain will be available in about three months. The real secret here is getting those houses repaired as quickly as possible. Features are now pushing towards the uh, 11,000 houses and uh, you know, we, we want to get them there as quickly as possible. Pavlitich says that's just playtime stuff. He knows what needs to be done, we all know what needs to be done, but he just hasn't got the will or the capacity to do what needs to be done. Mr Pavlitich will meet with local government minister Nick Smith on Friday to discuss the issue. One solution put forward.